Level 58, The Forest of Emotions. Class 1, Risky, Low Creature Amount. Level 58 is the 59th level in the Void Clusters. Description. Level 58, also known as the Forest of Emotions, is a forest of your own desires. You can shape it however you want, make the trees however you please, make what species of trees are found, what color they can be, etc. It all comes down to how you are feeling. If you're sad, the level will constantly be in a rainfall, if you are happy, piano music will be heard, putting anybody who listens for long enough to sleep. If you happen to be angry, frustrated, tired, or lonely, the trees will look dead, the sky will turn gray, and the only sound you can hear is the screams of children sounding so far, but somehow out of reach, almost as if you are guilty about something, depending on your emotion, the difficulty of the level will change. I will mention some emotions we haven't discussed yet, as all of them we talked about previously don't change difficulty one bit. The Depressed Forest, Class M, Mental Hazard, Sanity Drainer. I wonder what you gotten yourself into. If you are feeling depressed, you will wind up in the Depressed Forest area of level 58. The level's temperatures will stay at a stable 18 degrees Celsius, however, Sanity will drop at an increased rate, but not by much. The trees look pale, the sky is grey in color, and everywhere around you is coated in fog. Your body will start to feel pain 27 minutes in this part of the level, and past the one hour mark you will start to feel despair, grow hungry, and shade with the environment around you. 7 hours into this part of level 58, rain will start to fall and you will start developing schizophrenia, with audio hallucinations being the first sign of going mentally insane. 10 hours in this part of the level, things will quickly change. As the symptoms get worse, the level will burn, the fog will go away, and the ground turns from moist grass to molten steel, yet not feeling any sort of heat at this stage. The human mind will start to go into a whole bunch of different sections as an attempt to mitigate the insanity. Your immune system will go crazy, attacking random areas of your body. This will inevitably stop 15% of the human body's function, usually starting with the small intestine. At the one day mark, your body will drop due to epilepsy and will start shaking around at rapid and violent forces with almost no way to stop it from happening. These seizures will last for 4 minutes and 30 seconds maximum, and multiple can happen depending on one's sanity level. 15 minutes after the seizure, or seizures, happens your body will start burning, and visual hallucinations will start taking into effect. By the one week mark, you will pass out for long periods of time, and will start to lose memory. You will start screaming who am I? How did I get here? And am I dying? However, nobody will respond, leaving you hopeless. 17 minutes later you will die of starvation and or sanity loss. The only way to get out of the depressed forest is to feel a different emotion before one week passes. Objects in the depressed forest, the only item found in this part of the level is depression medication. This is used to ensure you last longer in the depressed forest, however, there is a 1 in 134 trillion 467 billion 92 million 789 thousand and 19 chance of actually finding it. Keep an eye out. Creatures in the depressed forest. There are no creatures here at all. The neutral forest, class 2, unpredictable. Moderate creature amount. Good choice. The neutral forest is a place where you feel neutral about all the things you did in life, good and bad. Thus this part of the level is indeed a normal forest. Wildlife strive here, and anyone who says otherwise is dead wrong. The tree trunks will be covered in moss, the ground is made from grass and soil, the sky, although hard to see, is blue, and is the only part of the level with a day and night cycle being around 24 hours, just like reality. Occasionally you can find cabins with tools and such, with the tools ranging from screwdrivers to jackhammers, and sometimes oat milk, Pepsi Ultra, and chicken sandwiches. 
everything has a neutral effect, with nothing good or bad happening in the slightest. Everything is just, peaceful. Creatures in the neutral forest, dog walkers, invasive creature 5, almond beasts, void children, blockers. Objects in the neutral forest, the objects that have been found in this part of the level are oat milk, Pepsi Ultra, chicken sandwiches, and tools, all within cabins and sheds. The homesick forest, class 1, risky, low creature amount. I know you feel lonely. The homesick forest is the safest part in the entire level. The sky is blue, the trees are rainbow, the water running throughout this part of the level is safe to drink. You can occasionally see a cityscape, everything you want back so badly, but no you can't ever reach it. There is a mysterious aura within this part of the level that will somehow make whoever is here feel at home. Creatures within this part will do one of two things, either comfort or kill you. While wandering the level's biomes, you can stumble across houses that are similar to your own in reality, and how you remember it, who was in it previously, who moved out, who is still living in it, what your bedroom looked like, and more. The people you know, remember will resemble facelings just as you remember them being, objects in the homesick forest, chicken sandwiches, depression medication. Creatures in the homesick forest, invasive creature 4, facelings dog walkers, impersonators, ambushers, it, colonies and outposts, I forgot to mention, it's impossible to find another person within this level, no matter how hard you try. Entrances and exits, entrances, feel emotion in level 57 to get here. Find out how you can make peace in level 47 to get here. Don't feel any fear in level 82 to get here. Exits. Find and touch a tree like no other to get to level 59. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering what all the hype in the announcements channel in the Discord server is about. Well, I'm gonna tell you. Today is Cyrix's birthday, happy birthday. Also, I thought I should mention that this level was written by Cyrix. See you all in the next video I guess.